if you can't shoot accurately and regularly, you're either new to the game or you haven't learned it as much as you've learned the other areas of the game, such as ball handling, passing, rebounding, and defending. You need to find your shot is like finding your voice. It doesn't come overnight, but it will require practice to even discover it. Only 99% of people achieve success, and only 99.9999% achieve mastery. There's plenty of room for ordinary players to achieve the 80 to 99th percentile in basketball. This is an idea that we're exposed to in school agencies and corporate worlds. Step one, how to shoot a basketball properly. When you catch or pick up the ball, you crouch down when your knees bent and plant both feet towards the goal at an angle directly facing the rim. Step two, we square both of our shoulders and feet to the rim. Step three, we secure the ball by tucking it by the waist. We grip it so that our fingers are wide apart and both hands firmly grip the ball, not in our palms, but using our finger pads. Now, step four, your body and ball are now in a position to lift off and launch. It's called a triple threat position. We can dribble, we can pass, and we can go to the basket or shoot it. Now, step five out of our step four position, triple threat position, we are looking at the rim. We want to aim one inch over the rim. So now we're in step six where we're going to raise up and shoot. Our whole body will come up when we go to shoot. The ball comes up, our body comes up, and our elbow is straight underneath the ball on a straight line with the center of the rim. This is our shooting arm. This is our guide. So now we go to step seven. On the way up, whether we jump high, we jump normal, or we don't jump at all, we launch the ball with our shooting ham, arm fully extended with a good flick of the wrist. I'll show you that again. We come from our crouch position, our triple threat position. We come up and we go fully with a flick of the wrist. Now, I want both hands on the ball when I shoot it. So when it comes, my left hand comes off the ball almost simultaneously as the ball is left my hand. So it's on the side and it simultaneously comes off of it at the same time. Now, as you rise, the upward force from your legs gives the ball the power and distance to go. So as you flick your wrist, be mindful of your dominant fingers. That's where your power shot comes through. Now, step eight is your follow through. It's the easiest link in the chain that is, is uh, forgotten. And when you follow through, you want to leave it there. If you jump, you want to jump straight up and come straight down. And we want our follow through right over the rim. And the easiest way I like to teach little kids is, because everybody loves cookies. Put that hand in the cookie jar. Put that hand in the cookie jar. That's how we do it. Now, that's the, for any good shooter knows that the follow through is the most important step. It corrects any bad mechanics that we have before that. And it reinforces proper backspin. If the ball is bouncing on the rim and it goes in, people in the stands like to say it was a lucky shot. But as a basketball player, we know it is from the backspin that we put on the follow through. Now, the last step that I like to talk about is confidence. 
you gotta have confidence. This is the final link that builds chain after chain with every shot.